Barry Cunningham was in the courtroom. Judgment Day for John Gotti began with a noisy demonstration by his supporters protesting that the boss of the Gambino crime family had been unfairly convicted of murder and racketeering. Inside the federal courthouse, a smirking, arrogant John Gotti upheld the mafia code of silence to the bitter end, shaking his head no when federal judge Leo Glasser asked if he had anything to say. Gotti did not beg for mercy, and the judge didn't give him any, sentencing the real-life godfather to life in prison with no parole. Gotti's convicted underboss, Frank Frankie Locks Locasio, also received life in prison, but not before protesting his innocence. I am not guilty, Locasio told the court, but I am guilty, though. I am guilty of being a good friend of John Gotti. If there were more men like John Gotti, this would be a better country. The stiff prison sentences seemed to surprise only Gotti's supporters on the street, who stormed the courthouse and smashed the cars of federal marshals. An estimated 130 police reinforcements were called in to control the violence, which gave new meaning to the expression mob rule. Police estimated that up to a thousand people were in the protest group, about half of whom stormed the front door of the courthouse and ripped up police barricades. There were at least seven arrests, eight police injured, and six cars damaged, including this U.S. Marshal's privately owned auto. Person. Insured for civil insurrection? Malicious mischief. U.S. Attorney Andrew Maloney said the courthouse riot should destroy the media's hero worship of John Gotti. You made him somewhat of a folk hero. You made him somewhat of a Robin Hood. When I told you the day I indicted him, he wasn't any of those things. He was a murderer. And we proved that. And that message never seemed to get across to people. People still complain, how did John Gotti stay in jail for 16 months? We charged him with five murders. That practically makes him a serial murderer. It was not a spontaneous uh, demonstration of any sort. It was directed by the crew of John Gotti, Jr., New York FBI Director Jim Fox said that with Gotti locked up for life, the leaders of all five New York crime families are now behind bars. Like it or not, and I'm sure he doesn't like it, John Gotti is going to begin to feel people trying to take the reins of power from him. Can John Gotti continue to control the mob from behind bars? Law enforcement sources say that depends on where he's sent. And Gotti's lawyer strongly suspects he'll be sent to the toughest prison in the federal system at Marion, Illinois, where inmates are locked in solitary cells 23 hours a day. And for most inmates, the only time they leave prison is when they're carried out in a box. At the federal courthouse in Brooklyn, Barry Cunningham, Channel 11, News at 10.